Right, Bob Thomas is once again calling on Mark Souter to meet him in a debate. Both are running for the 3rd District Congressional seat. News Channel 15's Aisha Husney has tonight's top story. Well, if you've seen the campaign ads on News Channel 15, it's clear Thomas and Souter are waging a political war. But if you're waiting for the two to square off face to face, don't hold your breath. I do not believe that Bob is a credible candidate. That is the sole reason why we haven't seen Congressman Mark Souter debate Republican opponent Bob Thomas. At a Republican rally tonight, Souter once again rejected the idea of sharing a stage with the auto dealership owner. I believe once somebody is nominated by somebody rather than self-declared, that, um, that you have an obligation to make. Thomas, of course, sees it differently. Well, he knows I'm a viable candidate. He's spending hundreds of thousands of dollars attacking me in TV and radio. Souter claims he's having to spend all that money to protect his reputation, that a debate would just bring on more trash talking, and that voters already know where he stands on the issues. That isn't the question here. The question is, is can people come in with huge bucks and just buy a seat by smearing somebody? And I don't intend to participate in that. Debate or not, Thomas isn't worried about his chances in May. We're going to beat him even if we don't debate. That's not, going to, that's not the issue. If he doesn't do that, that, that shows that he either doesn't have guts or, or he knows he can't substantiate it, in, in which case he doesn't deserve the office that he has. Now, whoever wins the May primary will face Democrat Tom Hayhurst in the general election this fall. Aisha Hassanini's Channel 15. People had